So I just got in my uh, eBay Fender Flares for my Suburban. And uh, yeah, they came in this big, nice box. And uh, pull them out. This is what they look like. They're uh, they're pretty nice. They're pretty nice. Um, uh, held them up against my truck, and they they fit perfectly. They they look like they're about I would say roughly two inches. Roughly, roughly though. Roughly, I can't say for sure. I should get a measuring tape and measure it. But I would say roughly two to three inches. Two to three inches. Um, uh, they come in plastic bags. And then on top of the plastic bag, they come with this uh, somewhat, it looks like a shiny finish, but it's actually plastic wrapping that's covering it. And, uh, you know, they tell you where each piece goes. So, you know, it's... it's uh, idiot proof um tell you each piece goes you get uh the bolts little bolts that go in here you uh, screw them on the back with these lock washers with these lock nuts uh you push them through bolt them back in come with washers you secure them to your um to your fenders with these little plastic clips you know you get the gist you put them in Push the uh, corresponding plastic piece in, lock them in place. Um, so I decided to go with my. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna Raptor line them uh, black, and then the nuts. I'm gonna do red so they match my truck. Uh, here's the nuts over here. I already started to paint them. Um, I took each of them to the grinder uh, in the back. Well, not the grinder. The grinder is it's a, it's a grinder and a and a uh, and a kind of like a polishing wheel, steel brush. So I steel brushed each one of them at the head. Then I used um, I used this um, this U pole um, adhesion promoter. I used this on it. Painting them up first with this, put two coats of it on, let it dry, then I color them red. I just use a regular Krylon red. I mean, it, the red matches the color on my truck already, so it works. Push them through a piece of cardboard. I mean, they might stick a little bit coming up, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, I got those going. And then these, I'm gonna start, um, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get my sandpaper and sand them down a little bit, put a little, I mean, they're plastic, so you can't really sand too much, but I'm gonna give them a little rough edge, rough finish, wipe them down. Then I'm gonna Raptor line them. Uh, I should actually be finished with it all today because it's one, it's hot as hell in New York right now. It's like 90 degrees in my warehouse, so they'll dry fast. That uh, Raptor liner dries real fast. Um, I ended up going with these from eBay. Uh, I um, looked for probably, I would say, maybe like four or five months I've been looking for fenders for these things. You can find fenders easily. You can find fender flares easily um, if you're willing to pay, uh, you know, big dollars for them. Um, um, Bushwhacker makes them, and they're $400 from Bushwhacker. And that's, to me, that's preposterous to spend $400 on four pieces of formed plastic it's just a press they put them in and psh, squeeze them out i mean that four hundred dollars for that 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 doesn't make sense to me so i found these after looking for a while for about 160 on ebay they're not advertised for a suburban or a tahoe i found them under um avalanche that's how i found them um you know something i didn't even realize myself until i was really looking into it is you know the ones that that fit on the uh, on the Tahoe, the Tahoe, the back door actually cuts in the middle of the fender flare, so it's actually two pieces. I never really noticed that, but um, on the Avalanche it isn't like that. It's it's normal, so it's uh, one piece, so that fits perfectly on the Suburban. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna um, give them a little sanding and clean them up. All right, I got my uh, Raptor line over there, some left over, so. Yeah, I'm gonna hook that up and then I'll get back to you guys. We'll see. Before and after video of the uh, 
so before and after the fender flares. This is what it looks like without the flares. So, uh, both wheels stick out about two inches out of the wheel well. Um, I got hit in the quarter panel on both sides in the same exact place because you know, people can't drive very well in New York. They drive like shit. So I got hit there and I got hit on the other side, right? But the nice thing about the fender flares are it covers it up so you can't see it. You can't see where it was hit there. You can't, and you're not gonna see it on the other side. So this is how it looks after I did one side. Did in black and red. Straight down. Doesn't look too bad. I like it. Alright.